Hey YouTube, back for another Japanese lesson again, finally. <laughs> yeah, I know, I just needed a little break since my 50th vlog because it, it took a lot of ti time out of me. And uh, But thanks for all of you that submitted videos. It turned out awesome. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to put in a little pop-up here. But yeah, yeah, I'm really glad how it turned out. Um, I, but I've been able to relax since I've been able to just do some own, my own compositions, uh, go shopping. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those weird straight guys that could go shopping for like three hours. <laughs> and all the girls like, oh my gosh, let's go shopping! No, I like to go shopping on my own. Actually, speaking of shopping, I got a great deal on these pants. Here, you gotta check them out. Now, see, I'm not too into like, oh, yo, I got, I'm wearing me some this brand and Nike this and you know all that. I'm not, I'm not too into that and oh look I spent like 200 bucks on a pair of socks. You know I'm not into that kind of stuff but I like getting great deals. So there's this thrift store just close by my house where they sell only up-to-date fashion, nice clothing and this is one of the few places that I could find things that actually fit me because I mean you know I'm, I'm not, I don't I don't have to worry too much about weight, but yeah, I got these pants. You know DNG, Dolce & Gabbana, some super expensive brand, right? Like stuff I don't even touch, but these pants, it's like super nice pants. I mean, it, it just feels good and it makes me look sexy. I mean, look at my ass and just, just, just look at it, my ass. I know, I know no one really cares about my ass, but anyways, I got them for 27 bucks. Yeah, I know, I know, say it again. Yeah, I know. What a bargain! Yeah, I, it's, this this thing's like probably 150 bucks and it's just mint condition. It's so awesome. Well, that sounds nice and all, but can we hear more about your ass? Shut up. Oh, and by the way, while I was shopping there, someone stole my umbrella. Beat you. Okay, so uh, on to our Japanese lesson, finally. First, we talked about a little bit about Japanese culture and the difference between that and the Western culture, uh, and then greeting, and I'll say hello, good morning, good evening, uh, and then I introduced you a little bit to vowels and the importance of vowels in order to get the proper pronunciation to get rid of your A accent, and uh, and then uh, told you how to introduce yourself. So uh, the next lesson I like to teach to you today is something I haven't planned on yet. Okay, I know what to teach you guys now. Okay, so first you say the greeting, whether if it's hello, good morning, um, oh actually, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys a very important one. When you first meet someone, uh, is, uh, yeah, I forgot to teach you that. Uh, when you first meet someone, let, let me just squeeze in this mini lesson in between because it's very, very important, okay? Uh, when you first meet someone, you don't want to just be like, oh, hello, or good morning. You know, you gotta actually say, this is the first time we're meeting, okay? And so how you say this in Japanese is, hajimemashite. So when you first meet someone, you say, hajimemashite. Let me say that slower. Hajimemashite. Okay, not hajimemashite, but hajimemashite. Alright? Okay, don't forget that, okay? And also, on a side note, a very bold letter important side note is that is very important for you to bow. Okay? Maybe I should do a little bowing lesson as well to later on, but yeah, when you when you say hajime mashite, you should bow also. Okay, you just when you bow, it's not just not your neck, uh, not stick your butt out and be like this, but the proper just using your back bowing. And so when you say hajime mashite, it should be like this, hajime mashite. Okay, we got those two many very valuable important lessons aside. Okay, so you do the greeting. And then you introduce yourselves. You say, Watashi no namae wa des. Okay? So I'll say something like, Hajime mashite. Watashi no namae wa yuichi tuba des. Now, when you finish that part, obviously you're a foreigner and you look like a foreigner. It's just obvious. And Japanese people, they could pick a foreigner out of anywhere. They could be Japanese-American and they would be like, 
this person doesn't look like a 100% pure-blooded, full Japanese. And they just, I don't know why, they, they just have this radar. Uh, it's the perfectionist side of them. They're all type A people. So, uh, you're obviously a gaijin, which is the word for foreigner. You as a gaijin uh, will be asked, big chance that they'll ask where you're from, or what country uh, do you represent, or what person country you are. Okay, so how they'll ask you are two different ways. One of them is, Anata wa doko kara kimashita ka? So, like I mentioned in the last lesson, how you could replace some sentences with uh, watashi wa, or watashi no, or anata wa, or anata no. Okay? So, uh, they'll ask you where you're from. Anata wa doko kara kimashita ka? Eh, or, uh, or they'll ask you, um, what country are you from? And how they'll ask it is, Anata wa dono kuni no hito desu ka? So, you, what country person you are. That's just how, how they ask it. So, Anata wa doko kara kimashita ka? And, Anata wa dono kuni no hito desu ka? And you could answer simply that, I'm from this country, or I am of this, I come from this culture. And so the, uh, how you would say it, for example, in my case, although I grew up in Japan, I'll just say America. Uh, you say, Watashi wa Amerika kara kimashita. Let me say that slowly. Watashi wa Amerika kara kimashita. You have I, America, from, which is kara. Be careful that you have double K's there. Amerika kara. Uh, kimashita, come from. Now, if you're from England, uh, they really screwed up with how they pronounce England. The Japanese in general are pretty good at pronouncing foreign words, but this one is, is kind of jacked up. Uh, how you say England is Igirisu. I know, it's like, why? But <laughs> it sounds cool, but yeah, it's Igirisu. So you'll say, Watashi wa Igirisu kara kimashita. If you're from Australia, say, Watashi wa Australia kara kimashita. Hear that? It's different from America and England, which is America and Igirisu. Kind of rises up in the tail end, right? Australia is like this wave. And how you say it? You say, Australia. It's very important to pronounce these words properly in an incorrect way because otherwise they won't be able to understand it. They, they, they've ad um, Japanese people, they've adapted so many foreign words that uh, they're so accustomed to how they pronounce it and you really almost have to say it their way. Uh, otherwise, I, I, have a, I work with uh, someone from Japan and I say the same word that we use in Japan and she doesn't understand it until I say it in the Japanese accent, which is also common with other uh, countries as well. Just fill in the blank of wherever you're from. See, if you're from Paris, which English speakers totally screw up, uh, Japanese, you say pari, just uh, very close to how you actually pronounce it. So you could say, Watashi wa pari kara kimashita. Or for France, you could say, Watashi wa France kara kimashita. If you're from uh, Guatemala, you could say, Watashi wa Gatamara kara kimashita. And then they'll be like, Where's that? They'll say, Sore doko desu ka? <laughs> That's a common way of saying where is, which is a very useful statement, or a, a very useful question to ask uh, is, Doko desu ka? Yeah, actually, that would be a good one for you guys to use, actually. Like, let's say you want to go uh, to the toilet. A very important one to know. Uh, toilet is toire. Okay, so you say, Toire wa? You gotta put the wa. Toire wa doko desu ka? So, for example, something a more realistic uh, reenactment of it would be. Toire doko desu ka? Ah, toire ne. Toire wa eto soko no tokoro hidari ka no hou ni eto magatte. Aso e masugi itte, so e migi ni kai gurai itte, so e de soko no tokoro ni aru yo. 
Thus concludes our lesson of very random things. Yeah, I know, it's been very random, I just came up with stuff on the fly and I just made a few lessons, uh, but, you know, I, I think the most efficient way we could do this is, uh, if you have any questions, like how to translate something, how to pronounce something, something from the Japanese culture, if you'd like me to teach you something specific or a general subject of something, uh, let me know. Just comment below and uh, I could try to come up with something. Uh, otherwise, it may be another two months or so till I come up with a Japanese lesson and I, I want to make more videos like this to help you guys out. So please let me know. Uh, I would really like to continue on with this and I guess I'll just see you in the next Japanese lesson that I'll make.